so I didn't heard you say quite a few times. I didn't heard you mention this name time after time after time again. LL Cool J. Man. Would you say that's like your biggest influence in the in rap? Because I, I didn't heard that name a lot coming out your mouth, man. Like man, I, man, I would have to say it, bro. Like, and it's is if that's the truth. If that's the, the honest truth, then that's just the honest truth. I, I can't take nothing away from LL because, like, LL gave me courage. L told me what I needed, you know? Like, like, I knew I had to be bad, you know? I'm bad. You know, that's where your courage came in there. Because in Detroit, you need courage. You know, they got, you know, just the night alone, you know, is wicked, you know? So, and then it was, I need love, you know? Like, when you ain't getting no love and somebody make a song called, I need love, you too young to get the emotional, like, female intimate part about it. You just get the part about, you know, I know I need love. I'm not getting it from my family, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, it was that it was real impactful, and you know, he 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 battled the. It was like it, he had to fight his way. Like they wanted to play him like a pretty boy, and he wanted to. He he was like, I gotta be hard, you know. And he was just coming off so hard, and you know, it was like he built the whole, you know, a whole. Image, you know what I'm saying? Like with the hat, the Cool J hat, the Cool J shoes, you know, like, you know, he was he was tough. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what you needed, toughness. Yeah. So that was my rhymes became my best friend. Like I didn't have really have any friends for moving all the time and brothers, you know, being the way they were, rhyme became my friend. So you know, like I just rhymed. Okay, I wanted to ask you a question. I got right here, um, Alton Sterling. How long did you know Alton Sterling? I knew him. I knew him. I knew him a while, but I knew the. I knew the young him. I knew, like we was in jail, mm -hmm. and you know I was in there with me and his cousin Larry, and um. They were a little younger than me, and he was younger than him. And, um, like, I was trying to show him how to joke. Because I was trying to sneak the pack in and, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to show them how to joke. And I'm like, y'all got to humble yourself. And, you know, Alvin, he was just like, he wanted to prove himself. And Larry was already, you know, certified. Yeah. So it was more so like, you know, we, you know, out and like, Larry, you know I'm certified, but we like, this jail. Yeah. You know, you, you know, so. You start up, you gotta, yeah. you gotta show yourself in so, that the same way you certified our child. I got you. So, so by then, you know, I had then moved around and, and uh, me and Larry stayed close. And uh, me and um, Alton really wasn't that close because like, he was moving bad. And he, like I say, me and Larry was close. And we was trying to school Alton on you know how to joke and so that wouldn't stick Larry out because Larry had the guy you know he was a soldier he was yeah. solid you know Alton was too but you know he still was saying he had to prove it like no nah, yeah. you don't got to do this you know so then he started doing the, the CD thing and I bumped into him a couple of times and you know like I hollered at him and you know that you know that was that and, like you know his family like like some of his family like my family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a fact.